Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday break. Today a little bit of a different one. Uh, yeah, we're going to travel back through television history, television time, all the way back to 1991. Uh, it, you know, it wasn't just in 91, but these packs are from 1991. We're going to do 10 packs of 1991 Beverly Hills 90210 collector's training cards. That's right, uh... I'll give you guys a little story here momentarily. Let me fill in the background cards with a little bit of other television history. Has nothing to do with 90210, but it is definitely big time television history, at least for me. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, some of my favorites. You guys can probably tell where I'm going with this and some of the stuff I like. Got all these cards in the last uh, month or two. Uh, got really lucky with these. These are staying in the PC. Obviously, I bought them individualized to just keep. Two of my favorite shows, though, these are all from Leaf Pop Century. I think this is 20, yeah, 2012 Leaf Pop Century here. But, uh, yeah, co-stars card. Jay North, John Provost. So uh, Dennis the Menace and Lassie there. Two stars of both. That's a sick, sick card. Uh, liked and grew up to watch them both of those. I mean, not, uh, you know, as they premiered or anything like that. They were reruns for sure when I was growing up. But uh, really two of my faves when I was a kid. So that is really awesome to have that. Uh, next up, you guys, uh, this is modern day. Well, modern day within the last 20 years, that is. But just love the show. I mean, what more do I need to say? Sopranos stars, Sopranos uh, fans, all that stuff. Where are you guys at? Leaf Pop Century co-stars. Six-way signatures. We got Michael Imperioli, uh, Drea Di, Di Matteo, Vincent Pastore. Uh, so Pussy Bump and Saro, Adriana, <laughs> Christopher Maltesani on the back. This is 3 of 10, by the way. You can see the, the numbering there. Uh, this is also from 2020 Leaf Pop Century. Uh, Feder Federico Castelluccio, which is uh, Furio right there up top. Dominic Chianci, which is uh, Uncle June. And Rita Tutoro, which is Tony's annoying sister. But, uh, yeah, really, really cool piece of television history there. I love it. Sorry for that, guys. And last but not least... Uh, don't be too hard on the beaver, as they say. Yep. From Leave it to Beaver, co-stars card here, Jerry Mathers, which was uh, Theodore Cleaver, the beave, and uh, Tony Dahl, Wally, his uh, brother. Pretty cool card there, and that is 8 of 10. Nice low numbering on that as well from 2020 Pop Century. Uh, and I will tell you guys, the plan is I am going to get some Pop Century to open here uh, at some point here in the near future, I hope. Uh, the prices are through the roof on Pop Century, but I would like to open it because they put out a really good product. I like the cards, obviously, as you see them buying them. I actually have some other cards on the way in the mail that haven't even arrived yet that I bought some individual uh, cards of. But that being said, guys, here's our 10 packs of 90210. Um, I was actually not even a huge fan of the show as a kid. I was more obsessed with the part of being defiant with my parents. My parents did not allow me to watch this show uh, when I was a kid. Thought it was a little bit risque for me and stuff like that. I had to sneak it and watch it at my cousins, things like that. When they had these cards up, I actually remember having to sneak uh, to different you know stores um, and stuff like that. When I would go shop in like a grocery store with my mom, I'd run out and go to the next store over, try and buy some of these packs. They were like, holy heck, 25 cents or something like that a pack at the time. Uh, and I got quite a collection of these. And then finally, my parents, they gave in one year. Um, I remember Christmas morning, I had a stack of presents. You know, I had my stuff from Santa, but I also had a stack of presents wrapped uh, separately that were sitting there in Beverly Hills 90210 wrapping paper. It was kind of the, okay, you can go ahead and just watch the show because we were tired of fighting with you about it. And, you know, I pretty much lost most all interest at that point. Uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, it was pretty cool. Holy heck, are these, these are going to be something else to open. But I have actually quite a stack of this still, maybe one of these days. I'll show you guys my collection if you're interested in the future. But uh, I have quite a few of these 90210 cards from when I was a kid. You know, sneaking and opening it. These are the stickers. Uh, so here's, well, let me think, Brenda and Dylan. Yeah, I have to remember some of this stuff. And then they have these puzzle pieces on the back. There's stickers on the front, but puzzle piece on the back. I'll show you guys what these kind of look like here. What does Jason's mom do for a living? They have little trivia things on the back of every one of these. So there you go, Jason Priestley. Uh, Kelly, I want to say. Honestly, yeah, this is a little bit tricky because this is, oh man, I haven't watched this show in a long, long time. It's like Shan Doherty again there, Brenda. She's still kind of sticking around there a little bit. Luke Perry that played Dylan, I believe he passed away uh, a couple of years ago at a very young age. 
Same card, I think, at the beginning there with Jason Priestley. Another Jason Priestley. Quite a bit of these. Matter of fact, I think it's the exact same. Possibly the exact same picture, just uh, kind of focused a little bit more. Weird. And Brenda and Kelly. So there you go, guys. That's one pack. Oh, man, these are going to be brutal to open these. I mean, I kind of... I figured, but I just I had this little glimmer of hope that I'm like, ah, it's all in my head. These will, the paper will just shred apart and open right up. Of course, that's not going to be the case. Of course not. If you guys watched 902 when I was growing up, let me know in the comments. Uh, one of your stories is Dylan is our sticker for this one. There's our puzzle piece. I did like Tori Spelling a heck of a lot. Very, uh, very hot. Very hot stuff she was. <laughs> Haven't seen her in quite some time, so I have no idea what she looks like anymore. Nice. Uh, I did like the bikini pictures. I remember that as a kid. And uh, oh, I can't remember. It starts with an A. Andrea, that's her name. Andrea. I also thought she was a little bit cute, too. I also thought it was pretty funny that uh, half the cast was quite a bit older than high school age. Um, you know, not all of it, but quite a bit of it. It definitely was. So there you go. Oh, yeah, we're getting us down to the science now. Yeah, no problem. There we go. Oh, the sticker's backwards. So there's our puzzle piece. The sticker is going to be Dylan and Jason. We got Kelly. Again, quite a bit of the same cards. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to touch on some of these. are just, wow. There's some serious repetition in the cards here. I do not remember the repetition being this bad uh, as a kid. I'm going to have to bust out the cards. I have mine in storage somewhere, kind of boxed up with all my other cards. I can bust those out one of these days and see all the different cards that are out there. I have no idea the checklist, you know, the amount of cards and stuff like that. There's your puzzle piece to go with. A oh, nice sticker of the ladies. Hello, ladies. Ian Ziering, I believe, played uh, Steve. I think that's his name. He's in a couple other things, but never became like an A-list actor or anything like that. Luke Perry and probably maybe Shan Doherty maybe had the big, biggest success uh, off of the show. I do remember the later seasons of 90210. I don't remember the exact time, but uh, later seasons were my favorite from one of the other shows uh, around the same time. I watched Growing Up, Saved by the Bell. Kelly Kapowski, Tiffany Amber Thiessen joined the cast of uh, 90210, and I definitely... I appreciated that because it was Kelly Kaposki. And, uh, yeah, she was definitely had a crush on her. Definitely had a crush on her. So I know this is a little bit oddball, guys, but uh, for me, this is a trip down my personal memory lane. I'm hoping a few of you can relate with this out there. Uh, it's definitely not something you're going to probably find other videos of, of this being, you know, broke on YouTube by anybody else. That's for sure. But, uh, it's worth a trip every now and then to kind of get the oddball stuff and check on some nostalgic things, bring back some memories of the past, and yeah, just remember a certain time period. I find it pretty cool. These cards are not uh, all terribly expensive. I mean, they're not cheap. They're definitely, they've gone up in price a little bit um, since they came out when I was paying, you know, 25 cents a pack or whatever. I think, I don't even remember what I paid for these, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Uh, and that was a while ago. I've been sitting on these for a while. Uh, I like that picture. You guys can probably figure out why. Um, but yeah, I think you can get like boxes of these for something between like 50. I think I've seen all the way up to as crazy as it sounds, maybe 400, which is just insanity. This will probably be the, uh, I'll just be honest, this is probably the final time you'll ever see this broke on the channel. I just kind of wanted to walk down memory lane with this one time. Check it out once more. But, uh, you know, these cards, they have no value and stuff. And I have quite a collection of these now to go with, uh, you know, my other collection I've been holding on to. Hey, there's the completed picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. I'll see if I can assemble that puzzle now with all my other cards. A little bit of different cards in this box, so that's kind of cool. And I'm not going to turn every one of these around. And, yeah. <laughs> all right, three packs to go. Taking a little longer than I thought this was going to take. 
Like I said, I feel like I'm losing a lot of time in the packs. I'm starting to get it down to a little bit of a science, but it's still a pain. There's Andrea. I don't know why, but I always kind of dug her. I know she was quite a bit older. Uh, don't quote me 100%, but I think she was like, honestly, like 24 or something like that. Uh, trying to portray that, you know, she's a 16-year-old or whatever it was at the time. There's a nice one of the ladies. Hello, ladies. Holy Perry. There's a nice couples card. It's pretty cool. And final picture. I actually don't remember ever seeing that one, so that's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that's not in my collection. All right, last. Holy smokes, two packs. All right, there's our puzzle piece. And sticker with Brenda. Oh, Kelly's getting a little provocative there with the lace. Andrea, holy smokes. You can tell this is like a uh, Topps product of the early times. Actually, it reminds me more so of like an Upper Deck product around like 1990-ish with the cards every single which way you can imagine. But one pack left to go. And I'll probably say goodbye to 90210 for quite some time. Although I did try to get back into the show and watched it a couple of years ago uh, on DVD and stuff like that. Uh, I did kind of get into it, and then I kind of fell right back off, so... I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll give it a shot again. Try to re relive some of the uh, the history and stuff. And... Looks like the last three are like this. Oh, of course they're not. No. I think we've seen all those ones, though, anyway. But, yeah. There you go, guys. A little bit of uh, walk down memory lane. I hope you guys didn't hate it. Hopefully... Brought back a little bit of memories for some of you guys. Yeah, other than that, we're going to get right back to sports cards, I promise, tomorrow. Um, just a cool little thing I wanted to check out and share with you guys. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you, as always. In the description below, you guys can find my email address, as well as a mailing address and the Instagram account, if you guys would ever need. But, yeah, other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you're all around, and we will see you next time.